About one third of all refugees who come to the United States seeking asylum are children. But what happens to them when they get here? As part of our ongoing Chasing the Dream initiative, we're taking a look at a short documentary titled Refugee Kids, One Small School Takes on the World. The film follows students at a New York City summer program who have fled from some of the world's most volatile and dangerous conflicts. Let's take a quick look. I remember a bullet passing right by. That was my first time face to face with death. He was playing the street and the bombs come and his friend died. Welcome to IRC's Summer Academy. For six weeks, we are one big family. Being given a chance to start life again. This is a typical American story. Joining us now are George Tarr, who is a student featured in the documentary. Just saw him in that clip. And one of the film's directors, Renee Silverman. Welcome to both of you here. Hi. Renee, the first question for you. You and your co-director, Peter Miller, put this together. And it, it's, it's really um, such a compelling and inspirational story. But my question to you is, how did you come upon it? Why did you want to do this film? We started this film um, in a very different political climate. And uh, I'm a news producer, and one of my colleagues left news producing to become a caseworker at the International Rescue Committee. And she would tell me stories about working with the kids and about how they would come to the summer school and they would be green and they wouldn't talk in speak English and they'd be staring down at their shoes. And she talked about the process of, you know, how they attended the school and got acclimated to their new lives in America and how moving it was at graduation day. So it just seemed like the perfect little story, you know, to talk about you know, what it's like to come to America. It's um, a story that many, if not most Americans, have as part of their ancestry. You know, most of us are, are children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren of immigrants and refugees. And I thought it would be an interesting and important story to tell the story of, of coming to America for, for these children. And the idea was for these children in school, prepare them for the next step in their, exactly. their schooling lives? Exactly. Um, the United States has, for the past 70 years, been inviting families, refugee families, um, who are in need to come to the country legally. All of these students came here legally with their families, and they were resettled um, with a number of nonprofit non non-governmental agencies, and the IRC hmm. was one of those agencies. And they're the ones, it's a unique school. They have a unique program just for refugees. And you can get that sense. George, let me ask you about your experience. First of all, where did you come from? Uh, and how did you find yourself in the school? I came from Liberia. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm a family resettled in Staten Island in 1999. And my mentor who lived in Staten Island has some connection with the IRC. They used to come to Staten Island every week like on the weekends to just, you know, mentor kids and help them with homework. And that's how I got with the program. When you first started with the program, what were you hoping you'd be able to get from it? Honestly, I, I just used to go there every Saturday just mm -hmm. to do my homework, mm -hmm. you know, get somebody to tutor me, but also to escape some of the issues that was going on in my neighborhood mm -hmm. at the time. What I hoped to get out was just, you know, be among some kids who share similar experience as me. When you watch this film, one of the things that I was struck by is the sense of joy. Were you able to, to sense that same feeling of joy amongst the other students? And did you start to feel some of that? Yes, most definitely. Um, it's just what we all share. Most of us came from areas where you know, we were fleeing war. In, in a lot of ways, we all had that in common. The IRC, they, they did everything that they could to help us in the sense that, you know, getting people to come and tutor us every Saturday. But also they, they, they started like a soccer program and a lot of the kids love soccer and that's where we all bonded. Soccer helped us bond. Some of my closest friends, they're Muslim and every Saturday or during the Ramadan, we had to wait for the Ramadan to be over before we play soccer because I was the only Christian and my coach was the only Christian. So uh, just experiencing something like that just, you know, show a different side, you know, of the human race. Mm -hmm. So you're seeing interactions in the school that you would not have seen if you went back to their countries or in, in many countries. And I was struck by one of the comments, we heard a bit of it here in, in the trailer, that this is a, a real American success story. What do you think they meant by that? I think that our film shows what it's like for refugees today coming to this country. And 
for me, it's very important that we're putting a human face on this global crisis. How would you characterize, for somebody who, who hasn't seen this yet, but will want to see it after we have this conversation, how would you characterize for them the evolution of these children when they first started the program and when they, when, as we see, when they graduate from this program? I think for them, the school becomes a refuge and they realize that they have tremendous resilience, you know, that they can come from a country with completely different you know, cultural mores and completely different, cult, you know, culture, and they can come to America and they, they too could become part of the fabric of, of life here in New York and in America, um, whether it's through music, you know, and through, you know, soccer, through theater. I think that they also find courage and strength from their classmates who maybe are from very different backgrounds from them, but they share that, that common experience of coming here and having to adjust to life in a new world. George, last question for you. If somebody came up to you and, and said, I just came here from your country, and I heard about this school, and I heard that you went through it, and I'm wondering if it would be good for me to do it too. I would definitely tell them to go for it. You know, it's going to be something that's going to be very helpful in the long run. Um, the IRC school didn't just prepare us for the American school system, but it also prepared us for life. Um, had to, you know, become a better American citizen and had to just adjust to living in a city like New York. New York's one of the most busiest cities in the United States. So yeah, I would definitely give that person a good recommendation to, you know, go there and experience something that they never experienced before. It just help you feel like you belong. You belong with a specific group of, of, of kids. Well, we should certainly applaud the school for being a great, great transformative force in the lives of, of young people. And Renee, it, it, it's, a, it's a lovely film um, and, and a very revealing film in all the best senses of the word. So George, thank you for you. Good luck for you. Renee, thanks for, for the good work. And thanks to both of you for spending some time with us. We appreciate it. You be well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Refugee Kids, One Small School Takes on the World premieres Saturday, June 16th at 1 p.m. on 13.